think the drought's over? Think again. Over 77% of California is currently in extreme drought. That's over 29 million people facing water scarcity and restrictions as we enter another historically dry year. Although rain is falling periodically, California's major reservoirs are at only 38% of capacity. Drought is one part of climate shift that people and ecosystems all over the state are experiencing. As carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases build up, average temperatures throughout California rise. Because the atmosphere is warmer, water vapor cannot condense into clouds. Instead, it keeps building in the atmosphere and is trapped there, inaccessible to animals, plants, and humans. The combined forces of the atmosphere and ocean surface drive global winds which shape local weather patterns and can determine whether communities and ecosystems get the water they need. A common misperception is that if it rains enough, the drought will end. However, even if we recovered from our drastically low annual rainfall, supplies wouldn't last. This is because nearly a third of California's water comes from mountain snowpacks. Unusually warm winters have had a devastating impact on snowfall in the Sierra Nevadas. Historically, the Lake Tahoe region has received, on average, 45 inches of snow in January alone. The total snowfall this season, from mid-November to February, is a dismal 35 inches. Without the valuable natural service of water storage in snow, we will continue to face desperately low water supplies this year. Drought affects everything from our health to our wallets. When reservoirs are low, the concentration of pollution in water is higher. Rain and snow also clean particulate matter and pollutants out of the air we breathe. Lack of water depresses photosynthesis, so trees and plants can no longer absorb carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere. This downward spiral effect is causing climate systems to warm potentially twice as fast as originally predicted. Droughts cause millions of dollars in crop loss and raise the price of food and water. Drought conditions in 2012 alone are estimated to have cost the United States over 31 billion real dollars. To end drought, we have to combat climate change by making our lives and communities more sustainable. We can reduce deforestation, which destroys the Earth's natural ability to clean air, and support renewable energies like solar and wind. We can improve the efficiency of agricultural water systems, which account for 80% of our water use. At the local level, we can eat more fruits, vegetables, and legumes, which take significantly less water to produce than meat. Taking steps like these will create a society that better serves the needs of people and the Earth, one drop at a time.